My name is Chief James Helmold with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Uh, we're here to provide an update and a briefing about what we're dealing with here at All of You Medical Center. At approximately 9.30 this morning, a member of the All of You Medical staff observed someone in the hospital and that individual brandished what she believed to be a black semi-automatic firearm. So the hospital who is practiced and trained with uh, safety protocols with the Sheriff's Department immediately enacted those protocols as a precaution to all the patients and employees, which includes evacuation of some floors and an immediate search team to uh, contact this individual who was seen with a firearm. So the Sheriff's Department deployed um, a team in order to ensure that if there is an individual in this hospital with a firearm that he would be contacted and stopped if there was a threat. Meanwhile, the hospital has to also coordinate um, their life-saving um, operations, which they do on a daily basis. I can have the um, hospital staff speak to you about that if you have questions. But essentially, we got from them a priority of which rooms are key and essential to ensure the safety of life at this hospital. And we did secure those rooms immediately, as well as provide for the safety of the employees and patients at this facility, which we uh, believe is underway right now. We believe that all patients and employees are currently in a safe position, and we are still searching for an outstanding suspect. The suspect was described to us by medical staff as a male Hispanic, approximately 40 years old, clean cut with medium length hair, he did not appear to be under the influence of anything, and he was believed to be in possession of a black semi-automatic semi handgun. And uh, right now, we're working closely with LAPD, who's also providing resources here at the facility, as well as surrounding area, to make sure that if, in fact, an armed suspect is in the area, that the residents of Los Angeles are safe, and the chief can also speak to that as far as the LAPD uh, impact that it's had. We also have LA City Fire who was immediately responsive because of course they bring patients to the facility so they were on top of everything as far as their protocols, as far as providing uh, facilities for any patients that they would have to bring into the facility as well as any patients if there was an emergency incident here related to this incident. And then of course the Highway Patrol did an excellent job in quickly responding to secure all the streets and uh, facilities in and around the hospital facility. So it truly was a great collaborative effort. It is not all incident clear yet. We still have our special weapons team here clearing the facility again. Our sheriff's first responders immediately cleared the facility in the event that there was an immediate threat. But now a secondary special weapons team is more closely securing every single space in this hospital facility to ensure nobody is hiding or anything like that. We're taking every precaution to ensure that the situation is code four as we know it. Did the guy just have a gun? Was he walking around? What we had reported to us at approximately 930 by medical staff of the hospital was that a male Hispanic, approximately 40 years old, produced and brandished a semiotic semi-automatic firearm and she immediately left in fear for her safety and notified sheriff's personnel. Chief, can you put that in perspective She was on the second floor of the hospital facility and she was then confronted by this individual with the firearm and in fear for her safety she left and notified sheriff's personnel and hospital staff who conducted the lockdown protocols. We are still searching for this person that she saw. What was the circumstance of the confrontation? Was it a robbery or was there a throw inside the alley? This uh, incident caught her by surprise. It was unexpected. She described him as clean cut, so it's, not, it's something that shocked her because when he approached her, she did not, um, she was not suspicious in any way until he produced a firearm 
which in of itself produced a threat to her, and then she fled in fear for the, her safety and the safety of her patients, and that's when we went into the lockdown protocols. Um, we don't have those details, or we're not prepared to provide that right now, but we know that the, the production, yeah, at the time she was alone. It was in the open area of the hospital, um, conduct, and, and she was just going from one task to the next, and in, and in uh, that process, she was confronted by that individual. She was last seen toward a specific room, which we immediately locked down. That has since been secured, so he's no longer in that area. But um, as of right now, and that's where LAPD has been great because they're uh, concerned about now if this person did flee and escape in the city of LA, that they're going through normal protocols and they're curious as to getting a picture of this individual and a description so that they can alert their LAPD personnel on the street. Is there any video and did he say anything? We do have video, but we're uh, securing that right now. We hope to produce a picture, a still photo. Our detectives are working on that right now. So we have looked at every single angle, including that one that you brought up. And we expect that we will find a video uh, providing that he's captured, this incident was captured on video. She was medical staff assigned to this facility. I don't want to be too specific about exactly what she was doing or the details, but I can generally tell you that she was conducting her normal duties as medical staff, walking from one place to the next, and that's when she was confronted on the second floor of the hospital. And he didn't say a word? He did say something, but we're getting a lot of those details right now. The important thing that we have is he was a threat because he did brandish a firearm in a threatening manner, and the very fact that this individual who was not security personnel, produced a firearm in a hospital for unknown reasons, is in and of itself a threat to her and the patients of the facility. We do have uh, medical, metal, excuse me, we do have metal uh, detectors in the facility, so we will determine exactly how that firearm was accessed. What's the status of all the patients you have right now? So right now, we would consider ourselves in a lockdown mode. Uh, we have evacuated hundreds of personnel. We're uh, making accommodations for them now. We are so impressed by hospital staff and their preparation to this incident because the, the employees and um, patients did go to the designated areas in, a, in an expeditious manner. Uh, accommodations have been made to them, and we expect to restore the hospital to normal operations very shortly, but we do want to ensure that the special weapons team did a more um, uh, intensive search because the initial search that sheriff's personnel did was more of a first response. Now we're going detailed by every nook and cranny of this facility to ensure everyone is safe here at the, uh, the hospital facility. And I'll open it up to any questions that you might have of hospital staff or uh, medical staff or, or LAPD or CHP. We're going off of what the information is that the medical staff reported to us. And she was very confident that a male Hispanic, approximately 40, wearing a gray shirt, produced a semi-automatic handgun. And it was in a threatening manner to her. She did not stay beyond to engage in a lengthy conversation with that individual. She was concerned about her patients and herself. So she immediately notified sheriff's personnel and hospital staff, and this is the status we're in now. We're in lockdown procedures, and we're in a search for this armed suspect. She was not targeted we don't, per We don't know the intentions of this individual because we have not apprehended him yet. She does not know this individual. Uh, we don't know his intentions, and that's why um, we're still searching for him. And until we know that, we won't know it factually, until we actually apprehend the suspect. Any other questions for me? I'm going to defer all of the uh, hospital questions or the staff to uh, medical staff. And give us your name again. My name is Chief James Helmold, H-E-L-L-M-O-L-D, with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. So, 
Yeah, my name is Shannon Tyne, S-H-A-N-N-O-N-T-H-Y-N-E. I am the Chief Medical Officer at All of You UCLA Medical Center, and I'm also the representative for all the UCLA trainees who work at the Medical Center. Um, and if anyone has any questions, or I can give you... So the hospital has seven floors, but one of the floors is a non-occupied floor that has equipment. Any idea how many people were there at the time? So we have approximately 200 inpatients and approximately uh, 700 outpatients scheduled for today. And the amount of staff is a little bit more of a moving target, but approximately five to 700 staff working in the hospital. Right, right now, in terms of where the staff are and where the patients are, just to reiterate, we have all a uh, broad scope of services in our hospital, ranging from newborn care, pediatric care, to general adult medical care and subspecialty surgical care. We also have psychiatric care in our hospital. So the staff, the staff and, and um, patients have all been very calm through all of this um, because we initially had notification out through our various channels of communication that allowed us to inform people that there was an incident and to remain calm and to shelter in place. So for the first few hours of, of this event, people sheltered in place and then were systematically engaged with law enforcement who helped them appropriately either stay in place to provide essential patient care or leave the facility um, with the ambulatory. So the patients who are outpatients who are in ambulatory settings along with the personnel in those areas have all been evacuated. The patients who are in the ICU or who are in the operating room or who are on inpatient wards where they are sick and unable to evacuate have all stayed in place and are being cared for by their primary care teams who have all been under the support of law enforcement. The second floor is a, a lobby and some of our patient financial service areas and then many of our ambulatory outpatient clinics. So primary care for adults, primary care for children, a few specialty clinics, a special treatment center, um, our nursing administrative offices, our um, hospital administrative and medical administrative offices are all on the second floor. Any other questions? At this time, we have not transported any patients off the property. We did go on what's called diversion when this initially began, and the ER stopped accepting any ambulance trans uh, transfers to our facility, and those patients were redirected to other nearby hospitals. But at this point, to my knowledge, we have not moved a patient who is requiring medical care to any other facility. So just to be clear, all normal inpatient hospital operations are continuing. So our, our mental health units, our inpatient units, our operating rooms, and our um, any inpatient care is all going on uninterrupted. The, our ambulatory services have been suspended, so anybody who's coming in for an appointment now will not be able to get in. In terms of when we will reopen normal operations for ambulatory care, I would defer to law enforcement because we will do that when they tell us the area is secure. Our detectives are working on a photo right now and uh, we hope to have, well, if, if one exists, we, we first have, to, we're assuming that it was captured on video, that he entered in some point. So we're methodically going through all of the potential uh, access points for the camera. So just to be clear, we don't know factually yet that his face is on camera, but we know that there is plenty of coverage of surveillance footage, so we're systematically going through that with the uh, technical staff of the hospital and our detectives will acquire that as, and we'll provide that for the media as soon as we have it. Thank you. Uh, we don't know yet. Yeah, we're, we're checking. There could be, but uh, you know, we're we're still checking.
Well, all of the area is uh, secured with law enforcement, and LAPD is actually uh, securing their neighborhoods by putting bulletins out to their uh, normal first responders. Hi, um, my name is Soma Wally. Uh, I am the chair of the Department of Medicine, and I just wanted to talk to you uh, about safety of our patients, just to reassure family members who have patients in our hospital that at this time we have made sure that patient safety is our priority number one. All of our patients are safe, uh, and we have doctors also who are safe, as well as nursing staff who are caring for these patients. So uh, for those who are watching and they're worried about their family members and cannot get in, I just wanted to reassure everybody that all patients are safe and being cared for. And also for those of, uh, who have family members who are medical students or residents, trainees or physicians or nursing staff in our facility, they're all currently safe also. We're in lockdown unit and every uh, clinical area where they're working um, has been secured and they are continuing to provide care. For our ambulatory patients, we have evacuated all of them and they are being triaged currently and those who require medical care are being transferred to other facilities. But at this point, all patients and all employees are safe. Sure, my first name is Soma, S-O-M-A, last name is Wally, W-A-L-I, and I serve as chair of the Department of Medicine here at this hospital. Thank you. Thank you, we'll provide updates as they become available.